The men's 4x200 metres freestyle relay final is just moments away here in Melbourne. It's time for the final of the men's 4x200 freestyle relay. Swimming in lane 8, Knox, Kostia, Karun, Acevedo, Team Canada. They've been busy, the Canadians. Finley Knox back in the water, Karun, the world junior record holder. Gazeev in lane Acevedo. one, Dominguez, Moyana, Gonzalez, the Stelis Montemblant. Team Spain! Team Spain, quite a young team. It's uh, a 20-year-old, a 19-year-old, and in around lane about that age. Team Bulgaria! Another young team in this final. The Bulgarians will swim from seven. Mitsin, the 17-year-old, was great leading off this morning. In lane two, Huang, Kim, Lee, Yang, Republic of Korea. Korea with lane number two here. Wang Sun Wu will lead them off. And Yang will anchor them. In lane six, Neil, Chalmers, Southam, Horton, Team Australia. The crowd can feel another gold medal coming. The Australians in six. Chalmers will swim second. Mac Horden on the anchor leg. Team Italy. Well, Italy here and Thomas Chekon swimming the second leg after winning the 100 individual medley. Demonstrates his versatility. Watanabe, Matsumoto, Mano, Matsumoto, Team Japan. Japan in five. It's a consistent four swimmers there. Katsuhiro Matsumoto, their strongest swimmer, will go second. In four, Smith, Foster, Julian, Kipler, United States of America. And the United States in lane four with the fastest time through the heat, 6.53.63, to be led off by Kieran Smith and brought home by Drew Kipler. So, the men's 4x2 freestyle, the United States and Japan in 4 and 5, Australia in 6, Italy in 3. The longest of the relays. Kieran Smith will lead off the Americans, trying to get a lead, Chiampi. The Italian team is strong on paper. This 4x200 metres freestyle relay underway now. The first leg swimmers, Dominguez of Spain, and then one of Korea, Kiapi of Italy, Smith leading off the United States in four, Watanabe of Japan in five, Neil Australia in six, Mitz in Bulgaria seven, and Knox, the medalist earlier tonight for Canada in eight. Yeah, this will be all over the place. Kieran Smith, the 400 metre champion, trying to take this one out aggressively. Always the leader of this relay team for the United States. And in the absence of Michael Phelps and Ryan Lochte, we've seen some unpredictable finishes in this longer relay over the last four or five years. So Wang from Korea, the individual champion in this 200 free from 12 months ago. He'll be looking to post the fast time. Korea will be good through the first two or three legs, but they just don't have the depth in this race as a whole. So Smith out in front, Thomas Neal, of Australia starting to challenge. Well, we know that the United States always have plenty of depth. That's why their record in relays is so good. And they're out in front at the moment and currently on world record pace, but very early days. We're talking about the first leg swimmer as they go through the 150. Korea holding down second, Australia in third, and then Spain and Italy. 
And the margin is uh, not too much as we look across there. The USA and Korea, Australia up there in third. And they are really flying, turning in 48 low. Wang starting to challenge Neil, coming back. Smith's been great on this leadoff. Let's watch for the time. 140.9 for Wang. Super quick on the opening leg. In the water, that's Kim for Korea. Carson Foster gets his chance. And Kyle Chalmers of Australia. This is going to be interesting. The top three teams there, Korea, United States, Australia. Chalmers has been in excellent form here. In the 50, the 100, swimming the 200 now. They're still under world record place. Fourth at the moment, it's Spain with Yoli Yans in the water at the moment. And still the top three under world record pace. Yeah, we don't see Chalmers race the 200 metre distance at this level very often anymore, but he does have one good one in him. They didn't swim him in the heats. They want the best of Chalmers tonight as they move through the first 100 of this second league. The United States looking strong. Carson Foster there, 400 IMA. We know he's gonna have a good engine over the last 100 metres. Korea, also a really good swim up there from Kim, but we'll just see how Chalmers can put together this last three laps. Foster for the United States, Chalmers, Pretty much in second place there with Kim of Korea. And they've got 50 to go before they get to the halfway mark. So the USA with a lead of seven tenths of a second. Korea back there in third behind Australia. And then you go back to Japan, followed then by Spain and Italy, Bulgaria, Canada. Let's see if Chalmers can chase. He looks a little bit heavy in there, Chalmers. Off that 53 semi, he is starting to pick it up. The world record line is well back. It's been a strong front half. The United States still lead at the halfway mark. 1.5 seconds under, and diving in now is Trenton Julian. And it was a third of a second, the margin between the USA and Australia as they got to that halfway point. Korea it is in third with Lee swimming that lead. Julian, the United States. Southam, the kid, the 17-year-old for Australia. Yes, the youngest man in the pool, the youngest man in this final is Flint Southam. He was on that 4x53 relay last night, that one goal. But he's about a body length behind Trenton Julian, a well-experienced 200-metre swimmer. So we'll see what Southam can do. The anchor legs, the all-important finisher. It's going to be Drew Kibler for the United States and Mac Horden for the Australians. We've seen Horden produce unbelievable performances to finish off this relay over the past couple of years, but Southam needs to push now. Julian, a strong third league swim here for the United States. They are still under world record. So is Australia in second place. Trenton Julian, though, has stretched the lead. South and Australia, as they come down to the 550. Up and back, back down the pool again for this lot of swimmers before we get to the last changeover. Yeah, this is an impressive performance from the United States. Southam's trying to move, but Julian's responded as well. They're well in front of that world record line, and Kibler was the fastest split this morning in the heats. So Southam, now we can see Julian. Southam moving through this last 25 metres. Desperation into the wall. There's still 200 to go, and that lead, the lead's down to just 0.3 of a second. And the stage is set for Mac Horton before his home crowd, in his home pool. What can Mac Horton do? Swimming the last leg for Australia. He's out after Drew Kibler of the United States. In third place, it's Korea. Then it's Japan, then it's Italy. And the world record is still under threat here as they've got 150 to swim. It's the USA through Kibler out in front of Australia and Horton. Oh, the world record's gonna get demolished here. Both teams are in front, but Kibler's extended that lead over Matt Gordon. Kibler is more of a 100 metre swimmer. He extends out to the 200. Gordon, this is the shortest of his distances. I just don't think he's going to have enough. He's not going to have that change of speed to make a move on the United States. So we'll watch them. That leaves now 1.7 seconds. Kibler looks really good out there. And the Americans are getting excited. They can smell a gold medal and they can smell a world record. They've got 75 to swim now, the United States. They've got the lead out to two seconds. Kibler over Horton of Australia. Korea holding down third and then Italy. But as they turn at the 75 metre mark, 
the world record is about to disappear. You can get your pin out and write a new number in the book. It's the United States in front. Kibler, a wonderful last leg. Horton clinging onto the old world record for Australia in second place and Korea in third. But home they come. The United States, well in front of the old world mark. The United States, gold in a sensational time. 6.44-12, Australia the silver, and Italy storm home to claim bronze. A remarkable race. World record number six in the relays goes down in Melbourne. This time, the 4x200 freestyle to the United States. They haven't held this world mark for the better part of five years. And a real, really well-rounded performance there from Kieran Smith, Carson Foster, Trenton Julian, and a wonderful final leg swim for Drew Kibler. Yes, big congratulations there. Coming down to the end of that second leg, Foster and Chalmers, some of the fastest splits of the field. Carson Foster, 140.4, absolutely flying. Chalmers couldn't get any ground off him, and that was the last changeover. Horden diving in for the Aussies. He's had some big anchors before, but he does prefer the long course pool. Kibler there, really clutch anchor in that position. Just so important to stay composed and execute your race when you know that you've got some clean water in front and aren't they happy to claim that? They're off the podium a few times in the men's relays, but back on top now is the United States. So that winning time, 6.44.12, a new world record for the United States. We aren't quite finished yet. We have one more ceremony to go, and this is for a world record. The men's 4x2 freestyle relay. The medal ceremony for the men's 4x200 metre freestyle relay. The medals will be presented by World Aquatics Bureau member, Mr. Sammy Warman. World Aquatics Bureau member, Mr. Zue El Mufti. World Aquatics Athlete Committee member and Dolphin alumni, Mr. Daniel Kowalski. Winners of the bronze medal, Italy. Matteo Gampi, Thomas Chekhov, Alberto Rossetti, Paolo Contimone. Winners of the silver medal, Australia. Thomas Neal, Kyle Chalmers, Flynn Salva, Matt Horton. World champions and winners of the gold medal with a new world record, United States of America. Here they come, Kieran the world Smith, record holders. Carson Foster, Trenton Julian, Drew Keebler. What a team performance that was. Foster with one of the fastest splits of the field. Second fastest, in fact, 140.4, just 0.1 slower than what we saw from Chalmers. Kieran Smith got them an early lead, 141-0. He's going to be one of the favourites in the individual 200 freestyle. Foster will have the 400 individual medley tomorrow. That's his pet event, Trenton Julian there, receiving his gold medal. And Drew Kibler anchored them home. They smashed that world mark by 2.6 seconds.
Ladies and gentlemen, the national anthem of United States of America. been a good night for the United States. They win three gold medals. Katie Douglas in the 200 metres breaststroke. Ryan Murphy in that 50 metres backstroke. And of course here in the men's four by 200 metres freestyle relay. Overall, though, there's been a fair spread of the golds tonight with uh, France, Japan, Canada, the Netherlands, Italy and Australia all winning the United States with three to kick away on the medal tally. Yeah, they've really responded to the challenge of the Australian team. There's the 12 medalists. World record, the Australian team also got under that world mark of Brazil but uh, unable to seal the deal and that's the sixth world record in relay events that we've seen in this pool at these championships there's only been one individual world record but six relay world records have gone down which is quite a surprise I don't think anybody would have predicted that coming into these championships so the swimmer is doing a really good job in these pretty cold conditions, to be honest, especially as the night goes on and the sun goes down, the wind starts to come through that chilly Melbourne air, but uh, it's not affecting the swimmers once they hit the water. Really good racing. It's been an exciting World Championships. Really exciting World Championships, Bobby. Four days down, two to go. But plenty more medals to be decided. Maybe more world records. Kyle Chalmers, really good to see Kyle Chalmers happy. He certainly wasn't so happy when we last saw him at an international level. He was quite reclusive but he really seems to be at peace with himself now and his swimming has been magical see there was a lot to enjoy this evening nine finals as i mentioned the united states getting more than their share of the golds but great to see so many other countries sharing the spoils as well time silver for the Australians and the Italians big finish for the Italians to storm home and get the bronze medal so they pose for the photos so that everyone can remember them in years to come What a night we've seen though, Bobby. Plenty, plenty of highlights here at the Melbourne Sports and Aquatic Centre.